getting ready to make our next set. And I'll spin this camera around, give you an idea of what we're thinking on, what our plan is. We got our field hands opening the gate for us. Yeah, drive on through. If y'all look on straight ahead, you see that far, you see that field up ahead of us and then that far timber that goes up on a hill. There's a creek in the bottom just off the back side of the hill. We're gonna hit this corner down the fence row and our plan is to come over. There's a, another fence line that that's gonna tie this little thickety block into that big block of timber on the far end of that field. And we're gonna set up right around in there somewhere in blind call. We'll pull down here close to the corner and then walk on in. Be back with y'all in a minute. Once set up, I went straight to the coyote vocals. It was breeding season, so I picked out some female invitation howls called Little Bee Ready Howls, and no sooner than I let loose with them, the coyotes lit up on top of the hill, and shortly after, we had a big male coming down the hill right to the gun. At this point, they're just out of sight over the lip of the hill. Here comes one, coming down the hill. Be still, Dalton.
As soon as we let things cool down for a minute, I pick out another group owl called Hollerback Group Owl, and no sooner than I play it, we're right back in the game. jump across the creek and kill another one. We jump across the creek, climb the hill, and kill another one. Let's do it. Alright, we just kill the one cow come from off the top of the hill. The rest of the group. There's actually two groups on top of the hill, so what we're going to do is just climb the hill, get up there on the lip, and try to kill another one before it gets dark. With light fading fast, we top the hill quick and get set up, and I immediately go to one of my favorite howls called Boom Long Blind Howls. The coyotes immediately answer, not too far away, but after listening to them for a second or two, I jump up and make a quick move with the camera to try to be set up in a better position. After the howls, I go right to a low volume woodpecker sound called Broke Pecker and let it run for just a minute or so, shut it off, and that's all it takes. There he is, on the edge. 
another one to your left. All right, <clears throat> y'all can tell it's black dark now, so I'll just fill you in right quick on what took place because we're not going to be able to do our typical post hunt recovery. None of us have a light with us, black dark. Y'all saw us shoot the coyote probably 20 minutes ago. And the setup on that is we come in off a of gravel road and as we were walking in to get set up, we heard that group of coyotes howl. And so we moved in and of course there's a big creek right there y'all will see on camera. We knew the coyotes were across the creek and thought they were either up the, the draw or right on top of the hill. Well, that creek was wide in most places, so we found one spot where there was a crossing and the creek cornered right there. The wind was blowing left to right, so we knew we might be able to pull those coats across the creek. That's why we set up right in line with that creek crossing. Howled, I think I did, uh, little bee ready howls, and they lit up right on top of the hill. One but a second, right behind the hill, right behind the house, one of the coyotes broke, come down the hill, and was going to come across the creek there. He was right on that trail that uh, crossed. And when he got up there and stopped, Dayton shot him. He hit the ground. Well, turned some howls back on, and the group lit up again. They had moved just a little bit farther off the top of the hill after we shot. So we decided to just, rather than do a recovery on that coat, try to get another one out of the deal. And we ended up on top of the hill and moving a little bit deeper in because of the way the terrain was. Got set down and actually called up three coyotes on this uh, stand. I think I ran a couple of the howls and uh, then ended up going into a brand new woodpecker called Broke Pecker. And I let it play through a couple series, paused it in a, in a silent portion. And as soon as I did that, I could hear the coyote come, and I seen one pop up on the edge, and then a second one come through and come across about 30 to 40 yards from me. I think I get it on camera. Light was pretty dim at that time, and I have no idea. I hadn't even talked to them yet. They're still set up over here. I have no idea why we didn't shoot that coyote. I guess they couldn't see it, or I don't know. But anyway, and then a third coyote come up to the left. We didn't get any of them, so... Uh, and I'm not going to try to do any kind of recovery stuff on the other coat because it's black dark. None of us have a light. And I'm pretty uh, pretty aggravated with how this turned out. So that's a rundown on the, on the stand. It happens like that sometimes. And uh, we're just going to go out and try to do some locating. We may come back in here in the morning if we hunt close up in the middle of the day or something and show you the cow we killed uh, a while ago. But if not, that's how the stand played out. Appreciate y'all watching. If you want to get into this stuff, go to mfkgamecalls.com. And if you like what you see on the channel and want to see us killing and how we go about doing it, just subscribe. MFK Game Calls on YouTube. Appreciate y'all watching. All right. We told y'all if we got a chance, we'd show you this coat. The next day, we let it get dark on Thursday uh, evening and got a little farther away than uh, what we intended to chasing those other ones so also be able to kind of tell you why this setup worked like it did or why we set up like we did so I think during the intro I mentioned kind of what we done we were walking in of course you see the truck parked there now we drove a lot closer today but yesterday we were parked in that head of trees on, on the other side of the corn stubble field with intentions of setting up on the far end of the field. As we were walking in, the coyotes howled across this creek. And you can see this is a big creek. I mean, it's, it's pretty wide and got a lot of water in it. So when we got over here closer to it and saw the creek, if you look, it necks down right here and there's a crossing. Be down trails right here too where deer and cows and everything else are crossing. It also gets wide again right above, so this was a pinch point. When we saw that, that's why we set up like we did. And if you look right above the top of Derek and Dayton, the coyotes howled on the top of the hill right there, right on the point. Y'all will see that when we set up, they answer us right there. And then the coyote comes right down the hill and it's coming right to us on this deer slash cow trail and Dayton shoots the coat. 
as soon as he gives him a chance and he's laying right up here where he fell at yesterday but figured we'd show him to you just so uh you can get a look look at him we're fixing to go make stands here in a minute and we hadn't started up yet so figured we'd take a look at this guy in the middle of the day but there he is male coat and we ended up after we shot this coat and he hit the ground we went right on and topped the hill right there they had moved down and located again we got right on top of the hill and he ended up having to move a little bit farther down after we got up there and we end up calling in three more coyotes when we get on top of the hill right at dark wasn't able to get any bullets in them so this was the only one we got out of the deal but uh that's it if y'all want to check out any of the stuff mfkgamecalls.com and uh if you like seeing killing and how we're doing it subscribe to the channel mfk game calls on youtube we've been start making sets for the afternoon y'all ready no. <laughs> it's tiring ain't it since thursday i've had about six hours of sleep so. <laughs> That's part of when you go out of state hunting a lot of times. Everything is, Crunch time. you know, it ain't no downtime, no such thing as downtime. So, gotta make the most of it, get while the getting's good. So, we fishing to try to get to getting. Yeah. All right, be back with y'all on a stand here shortly. See if we can kill another one. Appreciate y'all tuning in.